Ask Reddit Thread. If companies had to be 100% honest, what company would go out of business first? De Bears. By extension, you'd have a lot of jewelry stores having to revamp themselves or they would follow suit. Chocolate Diamonds. They bought it. Holy shit, I can't believe they actually bought it. And for a premium. <laughs> I just knew Chocolate Diamonds would tank. Here, buy these shit ugly diamonds for a lot of money just because we called them chocolate. Uh, let's see. God, those things are so ugly. Who wants brown diamonds? My wife. She knows they wouldn't they shouldn't charge what they charge for them, but she still likes them. Uh, the thing with chocolate diamonds is that a lot of the diamonds are actually like brown or yellow, but they're considered low quality diamonds. So they were able to to find a way to actually sell those. Wow. Uh, see, thing even diamonds aren't really all that rare. They have a an artificial supply where they purposefully only sell a few of them they also just have like a crap ton of them stored somewhere so the whole diamond prices are all inflated uh, learn this one crazy trick to get a huge cock fast would become learn how we exploit your insecurities to get you to blow money on a product that doesn't work I have a theory where I have a theory there are multiple pills out there that totally work but every guy is too embarrassed to try them. So there are all these scientists, lab assistants, and of course lab mites with huge dongers. And the lesser endowed men of the world go on oblivious due to skepticism. Nice try, penis growth lab guy. Uh, Amway, for sure. Amway, how to lose friends and ice alienate yourself. Isn't Amway the ones that sell, like, knives or something? I think so. Uh, any sort of company that makes diet shit. I mean, yeah, they're making my poop diet. <laughs> I already don't trust them. Uh, I I like my poop natural and organic brosh. Nestle, we give zero shits about you, ecology, or the environment. We also don't mind slave labor or just doing straight up evil shit. I doubt it. They sell so many different products. People wouldn't even be able to boycott everything that it is made by Nestle. I boycott everything made by Nestle. Are you sure about that? Turns out I'm boycotting Nestle most of the year without even trying. Long live list of Nestle brands. They they sell a lot of shit. Other drinks. <gasps> Nestle sells Nesquik? I can't live without Nesquik. Ice cream dibs. Uh, let's see. Beats the sign heasers right next to these are half the price of better quality. I don't know what that means. Oh, Beats. Oh, the headphones. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because Beats quality headphones. They're overpriced normal headphones. I think few people would want to buy insurance if the companies told people outright that if you make a claim, we will do whatever we can within our power to avoid paying it. Insurance industry dude here, this whole deal about finding a way to not pay a claim isn't true. It's fun to bash on insurance, and they've certainly done things in the past to deserve it, but the sentiment of purposefully trying to screw people over isn't true. The, indus the insurance industry is extremely heavily regulated. Like, the states pretty much get to tell insurance companies how to run their business. What wording they can put into a policy, what premiums are acceptable to charge, whether or not they can even sell in their state, etc. If the company has a track record of bad faith claim negotiations, the state can just tell the company to fuck off and not allow them to sell to residents of that state. Truly shitty companies don't go uncovered for long. Geico, State Farm farmers, etc. They all, generally speaking, provide great service for their customers. If they did not, word would get out and no amount of cute ads will bring them back in the game. Unlike, say, cable slash internet companies where there are a few big players and pretty much nobody else. Insurance is a very competitive industry and it's less expensive to pay claims than to lose customers when you add up totals over long periods of time. 
but the policy language is too complicated. This is because it has to be. I actually wrote a little story to illustrate why, which you can see here. TLDR, too long, didn't read. The insurance company has some list of things they want to cover for you, but if they don't get incredibly granular and detailed, then someone will inevitably say, well, you didn't explain what you meant by house. Remember, they're people just like you. People tend to think of insurance companies as the corporations rather than the collection of people that make them up. They will say things like State Farm tries on purpose to deny my claim. Remember, the person adjusting your claim doesn't get paid to deny claims for reasons mentioned above dealing with state laws. They're just a normal guy like you and me, and they get president presented with information about a loss, and they have to determine whether the loss fits in the wording of the policy you purchased or not. If your claim was denied, it's because they thought the policy wording did not support your claim being payable. And the best first step is to ask them what policy wording they are referring to in supporting the denial. Uh, TLDR, insurance companies have done some bad stuff, but they're not evil figures trying to steal your money. Nice try, insurance guy. Uh, head on, it applied. I applied it to my forehead three times as directed by the commercial but I still do not know what it does. Well, sir, basically it's just a cream you apply directly to the forehead. Yes, but what does it do? It sits on your forehead. <laughs> In the UK, it's called forehead. Weird stuff. You see, the reason Head On has that weird commercial is because it doesn't actually really do anything, and you're not allowed to make false claims in a commercial. So, if they just say, head on applied directly to the forehead over and over without actually saying anything else they're not technically lying to you that's why it has a weird commercial uh, Comcast we know you were your only option so you have to put with our shit yep Time Warner's just as bad I live in a place where our cable is not half bad uh, EA you want our games no matter how money grabbing we are and we both know it <laughs> Also, because if everyone working inside the company was honest with each other, other the products production studios working with EA would break down into a civil war. Uh, I stopped buying EA titles at Mass Effect 3 launch. Their day one DLC that took story content, cut it out, and sold it back to the players for extra was the straw. I decided, fuck it, I'm out. Now an EA game gets announced and my hype levels don't even budge. No matter how good everyone imagines it, we just get Star Wars Battlefront again, again, and again. It's like, this had so much potential, and then EA just threw it away because they knew they'd make money anyway. Uh, Scientology. To be fair, would you bring up Xenu the first time you had to explain your cult to someone else? Of course, Zoltan is way better than Xenu. Besides telling them how silly Xenu is, is how I get them to join my cult. <laughs> Uh, uh, none. People would still buy all unless shit they do now. Even Nestle admits that they're doing, that they've been doing fucked up shit for years, yet there's still a massive conglomerate, conglomerate, holy crap, I'm messing up all my words today, conglomerate, conglomerate, did he spell it wrong or am I just not being able to read that right? In business throughout the world, conglomerate. I think it's spelled right, conglomerate. Yeah, it is. I just, just not being able to pronounce it. Vault Tech, North Korea. Buzzfeed, 27 things we stole off Ask Reddit and matched with shitty Google image search results that we paid someone to write. Watch this boring video and waste 20 seconds of your life. Read this six paragraph Reddit post in glorious 12 pages of half paragraph images with adverts all around each one. Uh, most importantly, people would have to be honest with themselves for a company like McDonald's to go bankrupt. We know a lot of bad business practices go on there, but we choose to ignore it. There is so much hate towards McDonald's. Every now and then, some shitty artwork will show up on Slash Creepy of Ronald McDonald murdering children with hamburgers. Oh, McDonald's is evil. It's destroying America. The only customers being killed at McDonald's are the ones who are stupid enough to eat it every fucking day. And I don't care about those people. As for their business practices, I don't know enough to talk about it. What do they do that's so bad? Exactly. Eating a burger at McDonald's twice a month won't do any harm to your body. Even once a week is probably safe. Actually, even daily is fine. Just don't cram yourself full of 6,000 calories every day like the asshole who made supersize me. 
Uh, if you can eat 6,000 calories every day and not gain weight, you have to be some kind of superhuman. There are some people who can totally do that, though. Uh, McDonald's is basically the company that started the fast food industry, and as such, the factory farming industry. It gave people the idea that food should be as convenient and cheap as possible with no attention paid to the effects on the environment, public health, and our community's food system. It's all pretty fucked up if you ask me. Factory farms are not pretty. Yeah, but they give us really cheap food. Uh, De Bears, uh, the NFL, with all the long-term effects of playing football, the culture of domestic and drug abuse and Roger Goldell's shady ass. I'm surprised it's still a thing. Edit. I still love my Saints, though, even if they are shitty. Maybe fan loyalty is the biggest reason NFL is still successful. Eh. NFL could be linked with 9-11. People would still find an excuse for the Sunday ritual. Volkswagen. I have a buddy with a golf TDI that has been affected by the recalls. They're trying to do something to it to reduce the emissions, which will noticeably affect the power output. He's pretty pissed off about it. Volkswagen? Uh, aren't those those little vehicles? I don't know much about cars. Mm. Uh, I guess not. I was thinking of the Volkswagen, Volkswagen Beetle. Looks like they have normal looking cars. The US government. Okay, Cupid. You'll have to elaborate on that one. Probably in terms of number of guys to girls. Match.com. If it says she's online now, it means she checked her email spam folder six hours ago. <laughs> I've had some decent dates on my current and my current GF from OkCupid. What's wrong with it? I'd say fuck eHarmony and their products less prices before the free sites. Uh, Highlands Hemopathic. A lot of people in the start are simply listing companies or industries that they dislike or disagree with. Apple, Nestle, insurance companies, whatever. To answer the question precisely, we need to look for companies whose strategy completely and utterly relies on their customers being misled. I think the recent Ashley Madison scandal was a good example of that, and I suspect that a lot of sites offering various forms of matchmaking would collapse immediately if they had to publish the demographics of their database. Also, producers of homeopathic drugs for obvious reasons. Homeo, are those like uh, alternative medicine? Uh, let's see. I have no idea what this is. It is a medical philosophy and practice based on the idea that the body is able to heal itself. Oh, yeah. It is. Uh, Ashley Madison, they're the site, the the dating site for cheaters. Uh, I, I don't get what people thought they were getting themselves into with that. The scandal is basically at Ashley Madison. It's a website, a dating website, specifically targeting people who want to cheat, so people who are in relationships already. Uh, and they had like an extra fee where they would charge you this fee to completely delete all your information from the site. Except that they didn't actually delete the information. They didn't do anything. They just collected the money and they literally just left it as they is. Like they like removed your information from the site, but they still kept it in their database. And then they found out and they got a whole list of uh, customers who would pay for the deletion. And those lists got out. So a lot of people got caught cheating, including some famous people. Fox News. Uh, and MSNBC while we're at it. Tune in next hour for new hyperbolos on old shit that are covered more accurately on practically every other station. On the contrary, if Fox News were 100% honest, unbiased, and true news coverage, then I would actually start watching them. But where are you supposed to go for, for funny videos for the, the Daily Show if there was no Fox News? See, you guys just don't know what you want. Uh, vitamin water. You mean, uh, slightly flavored? What is vitamin water again, anyway? It's like flavored water, right? Or it's basically juice. It's not healthy. Uh, I'm pretty sure most people who drink it know that, though. I don't think anyone's that dumb. That was a really funny branding on it. I used to love reading the, the labels on those, because they'd always say something weird. Uh, like Lean Wright says, companies won't go out of business for being honest about how terrible they are. If their products are good enough or cheap enough, no one will care. Slavery, poor working conditions, environmental damage, and child labor are too important to the global economy for the average consumer to care if they're eliminated. Answer, what are the Fortune 500 companies? 
Uh, you see, these these guys know what they're talking about. That doesn't mean Nestle's less evil, but I mean, where am I supposed to buy my Nesquik from? Uh, there are a few AV companies out there that market very impressive detection methods, but in reality, use free engines that literally everyone has access to. I don't know what AV company is. Antivirus software, I think? Not McDonald's. Everyone would still be in denial. Denial. Apple. No way. Even if they were honestly advertising how bad their products were, idiots would still buy them. The tobacco industry. Purely upon the basis that everyone with a pulse would sue the shit out of them. Additionally, the nefarious practices elsewhere in the world have been going on for years, but covered up by way of payoffs and some very questionable methods. In truth, the CIA are pussycats compared to the tobacco giant. That's why most spooks end up working for them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Almost all advertising companies will go out of business because 99% of advertising involves deception. Now that deception is magically impossible, they can no longer function. Most other companies would survive because now, uh, because now, because now, everyone is all completely shit anyway, so they are all the same. Uh, yeah, that's not true. Diet supplements. Uh, maybe. There are some diet supplements that work. Uh, most of those you can't really buy, though, legally. Well, I mean, in certain countries, I mean. Because they do have a slight side effect for certain people of death. But it's a low chance. It's just, if there's any chance of dying to a diet supplement, you probably don't want to, to try it. There are totally diet pills that work. Uh, good luck buying one where in the US. Actually, you probably could buy one, no problem. Uh, Royal Dutch Shell. If you know how they use Dutch diplomacy to pressure third world countries. The Dutch. How Shell uses bilateral trade agreements the Dutch would make African governments to sue them for making policies and laws protecting the economy and society against companies such as Shell. The Dutch Shell. Is Shell the gas company? How Shell lobbies the Dutch government to prevent green laws. How they lobby the government as the biggest group to prevent new taxation and even to stop competition. So, they are successful by blackmailing the Dutch government and threatening to leave the country if the taxes are too high. Of course, this happens almost everywhere, but for a relative small country such as the Netherlands, Shell has too much power. They have almost unlimited influence. How Shell buys new plans all over the world for alternative energy, destroys it, or stores them somewhere to not change the oil and gas sector too much as long as they can make profit from it. The story continues. I had no idea Dutch Shell was a thing. I'm pretty sure Shell is a gas company. Uh, the church. Too edgy for Jesus. <laughs> uh, I mean, if they all had to be completely honest, uh, you see, most people in churches, you know, legitimately believe everything they're saying. So I don't think that would work. It would have to go by the idea of if a company had to be 100% honest. Uh, whose honesty is it exactly? Is it the person who made the thread? Because that would make it really biased if it's like the people actually run the company. Uh, a lot of churches would be safe. I know Reddit likes to shit on religion, but, you know, a lot of them... They do actually do legitimately good things. They're not all money-grubbing assholes. Uh, Apple. I really want to understand this. How would Apple, being completely honest, collapse them overnight? Because <laughs> it wouldn't. Uh, people use Apple as like a status symbol. Budweiser. Enjoy the refreshing taste of fizzy piss. Budweiser is much different than Bud Light. Real Budweiser is actually decent. Uh, Swiss banks. If they admitted all the corruption and tax evasion they're helping their clients get away with, they'd have no reason to exist. Are Swiss banks a real thing? Meh, at least they're honest to their customers. <laughs> Oil. They would only even get around to the decades of scientific obs obfuscation and corruption after admitting to the mass murders and wars they deliberately formed in third world countries. Not that we would stop using their products, but governments would seize their assets and dissolve the corporations holding them. What's with the downvote? Someone needs to start troll hunting quick. 
Monsanto. This stuff is literally poison, but damn, the melon flavor is bomb. Gatorade is literally poison? Yeah, I don't think so. Oops. What's Monsanto? Is a publicly traded American multinational uh, agrochemical and agricultural biotech Knowledge Corporation headquartered. Okay. Uh, any pharmaceutical company. We have a legal obligation to make as much money as possible for our shareholders. That means we're not going to spend money on finding cures. We're going to spend money on finding ways to make you need as many of our drugs for as long as possible. Uh, any law firm and Verizon. I always gotta love it when people just say something without giving reasons for it. I guess that's why they're at the bottom and at the top. 